So when uh, you are converting the data, right, from SLT using SLT method or some RDS methods, so you will say, uh, you will map, okay, I am using a task and I have a special function. When I'm going to transfer these into the S4 system, system will automatically say these are all not available. Okay, it will not move into the S4 now for uh, 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 so the building output type or maybe for sales orders, the task and special functions won't be available. In the configurations. Okay. Okay. Can can we see what are the options channel available in BRF, please? Yeah. yeah we have a EDA email, IDOC print, and XML. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so um, Sadosh, I have three, uh, we have basically three options. One, live with the NACE in uh, HANA or move completely over to BRF plus. Third is a combination of both. Correct. Correct? So live, okay. live is only in <clears throat> case uh, your S4 HANA system is not supporting your existing functionalities for that application. Correct. You Correct. The first, will, first. Yeah, you will go with the, the NACE. Okay. So for instance, in the sales order V1 application, I'm using all possible mediums currently, including mm -hmm. ALE, yeah? So does ALE be a part of this PR of uh, whatever I see IDOC? So we have a, ALE is not there, XML is there, EDA is there. Okay, okay, ALE is not supported. Yeah, not supported. Okay, so I have also a special function. Uh, which is uh, 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 medium aid. Special partners, right? Medium uh, aid buddy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, that's yeah, also not supported. Not supported. Yeah, till okay. 1909, but uh, I am not sure. It was 2020 or so, released last uh, week only, last month. Okay, okay. So, so like, what are the benefits then out of this migration? Yeah, yeah we will see. Uh, I'll show you what is the benefit of doing this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Santosh, so if it is not, for example, B1 application out of eight different mediums available in NACE currently, I have only five mediums available. So in that sense, then it's our clear decision we need to make whether with this application, we will live with uh, NACE or we'll move to BRF plus, right? Correct. Okay. So if I, if I go for a hybrid option, both um, BRF and NACE, is it, uh, how is it possible? For example, I want to use EDA and email from BRF no, and application level, from it is not possible. Say, it's for example, for, for, for one of the billing document, billing output type, you want to use print. But another mm. billing output type, you want to use uh, email or yeah, uh, some yeah. task. Yeah. So you, you cannot differentiate at output type level. You have to you will do not it be able only to at application level. So oh, okay. other oh. cases, you are using the sales orders with uh, task and uh, special functions. But billing, you are only just a simple mail or uh, print you are using. Mm, in such mm. case, for billing output types, you can go with the BRF. For sales you orders, you can go with an S. Okay. So let's assume for V1, I have activated for uh, 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 sales orders. What are the condition records which I have maintained for, say, 20 output types in NACE under V1? They will still be driven by BRF uh, function? No. Uh, so in case if for sales orders, you already activated uh, BRF. So mm -hmm. all this will go for in So you cannot use them further. Okay, then we'll so discuss we now, yeah? Next yeah, steps, we, okay. We'll discuss, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is activation of my application to the channels. So next is for master data template. So this is uh, the major benefit what we see. So for example, I have a, uh, so for each output type, I have multiple uh, layouts to be created. Okay, multiple layouts uh, to be created. Specifically, this is useful in case when you are going with the fresh implementation of S4. Okay, and the two, you are activated a BR for this. And you say, a business says, okay, I don't want to go for any fresh uh, layout changes. So whatever I have in the ECC system, so same thing I want to work for. So then you say, okay, you don't activate any BR of press, we will take it from the NACE. So all these things will come into the NACE, but you need to just ensure the Z transactions are also copied from ECC system to S4 when you are doing. 
So like your print programs or smart forms will be there, right? Which you uh -huh. created. So those are all you need know, to take care during the migration. So okay. other cases. So you have uh, the next screen open. Uh, yeah, it is Santosh. Open. Okay, can you please click on one of the output types? Uh, please go back and click on one of the output types. Anyone? Yeah, I think this is fine. This is fine for me. Okay, the whatever the programs which we see need to be assigned in the uh, screen which you showed. This is my uh, yeah. NIST transactions. So Correct. If I am using Z transactions here, program Z. So when mm. you are doing a migration, same thing like your SP, AD, SPDD, those mappings you need to take care because these are all Z oh. transactions, right? SAP is not responsible. So you okay. need to ensure uh, from your calling your basis team. Okay, but if I say uh, these are the present programs, I'm using standard. So I yeah, just make a will copy of it. Copied. Mm, okay. Okay. So this is only in case when you are going for a NACE, not for a BRF. So first of all, that's the reason at the time when you are activating the BRF, you need to think whether you want to go for a BRF or you want to go for a NACE. If you say, I will go for a NACE, then you don't have much uh, task to be completed. But if you say, I don't want to go for uh, uh, the NACE transaction, I have a lot of uh, confusion. So many output types are there. I don't want to keep them uh, uh, again, the system as a data redundant. I will go with the uh, BRF. So it's very simple. Uh, you activate a BR plus and make changes for channels. And third one is just activate the form template. So here, form template SAP standard is given for each and every country during the S4 migration itself or S4 uh, uh, the system design itself. SAP has come up with the almost for each and every country there is a 60 to 80 percent forms are developed. Only thing is, you need to use uh, as per your uh, requirements. Say, for example, they have developed for billing document, taking a PR or so to or able to. The pay placeholders are already given. Okay, and it is in the above Adobe form, not in a SAP scripts or smart forms. Adobe form, it's just a drag and drop. And they have given the solution for you taking into a payer. But your requirement is not only payer, I want to send it also for a sales employee or internal customer or somebody else. So that you need to modify. Or you can take this as a template as a reference and create on your own. So in that okay. case, your 80% uh, or 70% work is done already by SAP itself. Everything is provided. Okay, you need to just tweak them as per your requirement. So Main advantage, uh, what Siva asked is, when I'm using a NIS transaction, if I want to develop any scratch report from the beginning, say, assume uh, I want to develop for uh, uh, one Germany, one report, and uh, as per your technical team, it takes three or four weeks for complete requirement. Okay, so here I can do it in one week. Mm. Okay, and, and the uh, 80 percent the, the, of the work is already given uh, for as per the requirement, as per the legal compliance, everything is taken care by SAP and uh, is given. You okay. know, to ensure so we, we, yeah. we see further options like number, organization ID, and things like that. So, what do they uh, refer to? Organization ID is uh, not for uh, normally for uh, your SG. It is for TM, EWM, and all. This organization <coughs> is your sales organization. Okay. And we have a channel. Mm. What is the channel you are going to activate and for which country? Mm. What is the form template? So this is your derivation rule for determining my uh, generic A4 size. What is the form template you have? So we, in the next screen, we see the form templates. Mm -hmm. This is a master template. Mm. Okay, so uh, just double click. You will see what is the channel, who is the center country. Based on this, you can differentiate. And uh, what is your text? So this also, you don't need to go for S410. You can write it here. So normally we go for S410, right? And logos, we use it in SC90, SC71 or 73. So those mm -hmm. you can do it here. Too. The header, footer, message of the email and things like that, I think they are, they are defined by defined here. You can define here. Uh, you don't need to go for S410. So normally mm -hmm. for standard text, we maintain it in S410. Mm, so here mm, we mm, don't need also. You can directly define here. So this occupies some 250 lines. Mm. 250 lines or 250 characters? Uh, 250 characters, yeah, not lines. 
So okay. what if uh, what if we used uh, uh, S fourteen text in uh, legacy and uh-huh. migrating here? No, no. When you are migrating, uh, you are not using a BRF, right? When you say if it is a migrating from S fourteen, I am not going to use any BRF. I mean that that is not at all possible, or it is only optional that we can use it or we cannot. No, use no. It. When you say migration, uh, so what happens? Say for example, I have a S four ten, not S four ten. I am using a new transaction, and mm-hmm. for that application, you are not activating a BRF, so which will still be available using a uh, your NIS. no my question is that uh, let's say uh, we we are using i mean the legacy system uh, uh, outputs are migrating here and uh, we want to use it uh, uh, for brf okay okay so in such case uh, you need to again do the s14 s14 is non non transferable right it is a master date yeah so in uh-huh. yeah inst- instead of uh, uh, oh, okay so that s14 to be uh, again maintained it uh, this 250 characters correct but again uh, your forms and all it will not directly come and sit here so for example i am using a uh, my form z form i created it will not come and sit here you know to manually assign this this is only but, will be available for your output type mapping apis but these are all will not be there there are no apis for uh, this this transaction These are all you need to manually. What is your form you are using in ECC, and whether this is modified or modifiable, you need to again do the uh, SPAD, SPDD, and assign the form template. And on what basis we create this rule? Which rule? Uh, uh, this is I a mean... standard template. Um, when you want to use a master template, uh, in case when you go for before as for an implementation, the so system has given, SAP has given some standard uh, forms. Okay, so that forms you can take as a leverage and uh, create on your own. So using this forms is, you will have some sixty to seventy percent or eighty percent already developed. You don't need to go for anything new. Mm-hmm. This is only in case you are directly going for a fresh implementation, greenfield. Mm-hmm. Okay, brownfield implementation and all you need to manually assign. So the naming convention will be uh, Z, or how it will be? Yeah, Z only. Same that logic, or that will be a standard. Okay, so this is uh, the place where your template ID will be created. You will assign the routine form. Same thing to your NIS. In the NIS, you are assigning here, right? In this place, routine mm-hmm. form program. Same thing that you are going to assign here. Okay, and uh, in case if you are ECC system, you download using the smart forms or SAP scripts, so that doesn't work here. It is a completely Adobe architecture. So there is no uh, chance of smart form or sorry, uh, uh, SAP, yeah, SAP script or something. SAP script not available. It's completely on Adobe architecture. Because the main reason why we are going for. Uh, S4 HANA for in in terms of VRF is it's completely flexible. You can make anything uh, using a drag and drop. Your Java for life will be very flexible. You can do uh, it's very easy. You can do complete setup in just uh, five days. So this Adobe uh, form printing is in within is this uh, sorry S4 HANA or it will be? Uh, we need to install that Adobe uh, transaction. There is Adobe. Uh, What do you call support pack? I think mm-hmm. you can show me S P F. Yeah, S P F. So this is a form builder Adobe form. So this uh, application uh, you need to install. I think this is coming with S four or uh, separate license. I'm not sure, but this is this license has to be uh, procured. What is the I think code? it is S P. We'll see if any form is available. You said S F P. Yeah, S F P. Oh, we have 
so many eh? so let's say the fright list but just they are created not activated i think yeah so these are all just a drag and drop symbols you see the layout is not active okay and santosh uh, let's say uh, some at, at times what happens we have pre printed formats right ah that format is uh, legal not uh, designed by sap it's legal based on your country like venezuela correct correct Argentina. correct so yeah. if that is a case okay so this is uh, uh, the server is not available Okay, I will just say close it. Adobe Live Sync is not. This is a separate server. Yeah, I will come out of this. Okay, so let me come back. Oh, it is available. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just a drag and drop. Whatever the fields you want, you can drag, drag from the standard uh, template. You don't need to create anything on your no logic, nothing. Such a will write in the back end the logic for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the uh, main uh, Adobe Form functionality. So again, I'm going back to the same question. Uh, what if we want to manage the uh, this? You know. uh predefined uh, uh layouts uh in this for right mo yeah mostly used for governmental uh, this thing yeah, so in in that case or, you would define or, the or or i can say pre printed formats yeah, yeah. pre printed uh, you will define them and assign here in the form templates what is your form what is your program mm -hmm. and what is your application object type application so here you can add for each country one one single okay so everything is common you don't need to create a, uh so multiple layouts so just create one layout and change the name and uh, uh, say for example in ecc what when i'm doing invoice layout so i have a multiple requirements right for uh, say Canada, I want uh, commercial invoice number to be printed on the top. Maybe for Argentina, I don't want to print on top. I want to print something else. So, in order to make our life easier, so we have a form templates like this. So, in the Adobe form, you can change wherever you want. You don't need any specific uh, country level setup. Also, there is no logic to be written. Specific so, this is this this is given by uh, SAP or what? This yeah, these are the standard SAPs. Uh huh. Country based. Uh, yeah. yeah. Template. So you can take take the reference of this and create on your own. So what we understand from the beginning is uh, SAP has researched almost all the industry sectors and they come up with uh, each form. So like this, for example, this is a standard uh, uh, billing. And similar way, we have a commercial invoice, pro forma invoice. We have a, a account, uh, say tax invoice, excess invoice. So like this. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. So template ID is the new functionality in BRF, which was not available in UCC. Yeah, yeah, correct. So email and templates. Each, yeah. And each template uh, ID will have, uh, I mean, will be associated with the print programs. Uh, and form. Adobe form. Adobe form. Yeah. So, so we don't case... have any print print program program functionality. If if you don't I have mean, any, I mean, see, let let me let me put it in this way. In ECC, we have two uh, two things, right? One is print program, and the another one is uh, let's say smart form. Smart form, I mean the form name. Form, ah, correct. So now in ECC, sorry, S four Hana, we don't have any uh, differentiation between these two. So it is, I mean, these two uh, merged into one. That is uh, uh, 
No, no, we have form. two. We have a program and we have a smart, not smart form, we have a form. This is a form routine, this is a program. We have this functionality uh -huh, okay, that did okay. not change. So oh, only okay. thing what changes, instead of using SAP scripts, you are using Adobe Forms. And what is this form routine? It is similar to ECC form routine? Yeah, it's nothing but your uh, uh, ECC form routine. But normally we don't use this, right? In ECC. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So uh, here, instead of a smart form name, uh, we are using uh, uh, template ID. Ah, this is yeah, correct. Instead of smart form, we use uh, form template ID. Ah, okay, got it now. And this is a Adobe form, not a SAP script or smart form. Understood, understood, yeah. And, and this, and... this, this, this is printed within S four N, not like uh, we will have separate uh, uh, printing. Um, um, uh, tool, let's say, uh, for example, stream server or something like. Uh, it is from I. What is it? It is printed from S four in the sense. Let's say uh, within this system. I mean, it's usually, what happens if bulk printings are taking place? Uh, SAP is not supportive that much. It takes huge time. Okay, uh, to avoid uh, this huge uh, time uh, time lap uh, time lapses. Uh, usually a, a project, I mean, clients will use a stream server as a bulk printer. Oh, that I'm not sure. We are using in currently also, we have uh, so many clients, so many uh, user base. So for everything we are printing from here, I don't know about the screen server. What is it? Screen save. Stream server. Stream server. No, I but how it will I... go? It will go to SPDD or SP... Uh, what is it called? Uh, some SPAD. Ah, SPAD is pooled uh, admin. Mm -hmm. You can go <coughs> yes. to spool admin. From there, it is routed to some different server. Is it output? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, so okay. we, we we have this uh, you know field mapping like uh, like I mean it's not it doesn't look exactly like uh, EDI but uh, the mapping I'm talking about. Ah, let's okay, say, yeah, yeah, I understand. So we have SCR. Correct. Ah, okay. So ah, you will ah, send okay. an XML from here to that system. It will print it. Right. Ah, okay. Uh, so in, in HANA, uh, it is SCAR, you mean? Not in HANA. Uh, I'm saying uh, SCAR is a third party tool where uh, it will ah, take ah, uh, ah. the prints. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, ah. I'm talking about that. Yeah, you're, you're talking about, you can do it here also. That you're, is talking only about ES, you're talking about ESK here? Ah, yeah, SCAR. Okay. SCAR is a separate company which takes only these forms. So whatever uh, the uh, SAP will send XML to it, it will read the XML. It will print in a PDF or whatever the format you want. So, but again, it is time consuming and we need to maintain that server also. No? Hmm. No, it's not actually. Bulk printing is very easy in uh, these third party tools. Oh, is it? And, okay? uh, yeah, and, and the important point here is that uh, if that is the case, then how do we. Uh, how Same do thing, we... it is XML only. We have XML format, right? Here also. Uh -huh, okay, okay. So basically, in XML format, we use we don't use any form form template Correct. ID. But uh, the main what is the main problem is in case if you are using the bulk printing or maybe third party tool, how the layout will not design in SAP, right? It will be exactly that is this is what my question is. If we are not using any layouts in S, uh, SAP, yeah, then uh, we don't need to use the template ID. Correct. So then we will be sending only the XML data to them to that system. Correct. And in Correct. the field mapping. It will take and it will, the layout is designed by the ex, that tool, third party tool. Okay, that, okay. that is also possible now. But okay. again, I uh, I used that SCAR tool in my previous company, but it is a lot of uh, uh, issues. Sometimes mm -hmm. the SCAR system will be down. It is maintained by in a .NET platform. Traceability is really a big challenge in those cases. Because ECC says that I have already sent the data and uh, Esker or Streams of says, no, I don't, I haven't so, yeah. received any information. So a lot of and issues will be there in that. We, we don't know where this data, data gone. No one knows it. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's again RFC connection, so many. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, now I got it. So yeah, we now, we are going into the business roles. So let's see how much time we have. Okay, so I think I have not got any notification, yeah. Okay, so this is a place where I maintain the output. 
like in your NACE transaction, we have output conditions, but here this is uh, uh, configurable. Okay, so it's a one time. You don't uh, maintain anything in the directly in your uh, production system. It should be configured from ECC, uh, means your development system. Okay, this is another uh, uh, one, and it's a one time activity. You don't need to maintain multiple times. Okay, so it's because it's not a pricing condition, right? It's only just a output, and we are not changing anything. And the reason why uh, uh, SAP has maintained this is it's in a network platform, so that's why it is in the configuration. Okay, this is a network platform level. It is not we are not maintaining in the S4. This is set up as an S uh, network. Okay, so let's say what is the rule for I for which transaction you want to maintain? So say sales orders. Sales documents. We have a multiple steps here. Okay, so these are also same thing like what we have, more generic to more specific. Okay, I will just normally maintain for output type. What is my output type? It is taking some time. Yeah. I have a business rules here. I need to maintain. Okay. So what is my output? So you see here, I have a, a sales document is my application. And this is for my output type I'm maintaining. And what are all the output types you have? So normally, uh, we'll just go to the new entries. Is it uh, in edit mode? Yeah, I'm just going to edit it. Click here on the plus button. It will give you one more entry. Okay. So document value, direct value, you can enter here. What is the output type you want to create? It's equal to, we have an inquiry, we have a quotation. So which means all the inquiries, I will be having only one form. All the quotations, I will be having a one form, one record I will maintain basically. So say sales orders. Okay. And what is your document type? So here I need to say okay. And what is my sales document type? So here you say, say for example, OR. And what is your output type? So we have a direct input value. We create this we already created as a sales document or building document or what is that we have created? Yeah, so say cash sales. No, I don't want for cash sales. I want for uh, customer return sales change order confirmation. So this is my output I want. Okay. Say okay. And what is your dispatch time? So this is also what we have. And currently it is supporting only the uh, immediate and scheduled. Okay, we don't have uh, here also we have four, right? One is immediate scheduled and we have special functions. So there is also something else. Say for this, example, is, this is basically the condition record maintenance, right? Or yeah, condition record, yes. Okay, and we have to wait, uh, we have to maintain only in the uh, uh... OPD. That's called transaction is called OPD. Okay, OPD. And it should come from development to uh, quality and yeah, uh, to production. It's a configuration. Uh... <clears throat> so here, uh, when I'm maintaining the condition records, we don't have anything here. Okay, so LD00. Okay, so we have a partner functions medium. Just see the medium here. Uh, this is a dispatch. So we are sending a job, periodic job, add an application, own transaction, and uh, while saving the application. Okay, so when I say a periodic job, you are scheduling RSNAS and backend. Own transaction is you create on your own transaction. How do you process the output? Okay, send a job with additional time specification. So this is also something uh, uh, customizing one, and immediately is four. 
will send upon saving the document it will automatically send an output so currently also in, we are only using the scheduled and immediately rest are all not available okay in the s4 okay let me come here so i will just say scheduled or immediately automatically for only just processing okay any other options we have yeah so we have only this any any in case if you require anything you can see this setting so currently we have only this many okay output dispatch time only these are all available if you want to add something new you can insert the column and create on your own these are all coming from your br framework okay you can talk with uh, the br of team there is a br of framework it's built based on again uh, uh, on the little bit of webdyn pro and all okay so you they will create it on a br plus there is a workbench is there in the back end whatever the fields you want these are all can be creatable newly we can create uh, now we are only just seeing the sap standard one in case here you want to say the ordination or a plant you can do it so as a functional uh, uh, can't uh, we can we can't you uh, create any uh, new field right new field uh, we need to go into the table settings if the field is available here only we can pick it if the field is not available you can have to talk with uh, your setup your br of team and ask them to add it in this category so if mm -hmm. the field is available here then only we can add it so so basically in background uh, if i want to create a new field uh, again uh, same kind of uh, uh, function i mean uh, process we, are, we have to follow here Uh, like your FS, compared to ECC, yeah, FS, you know, to create specifications, but this is something uh, not in normal ABAP. It is having some Java or WebDen Pro. So my question is, on what basis this new field created and uh, uh, to which it is uh, assigned? Let's say, uh, if I take the example of table one VBA K table, for example, in in which I want to, if I wanted to add a new field, I'll go for a new include. And, and uh, so here uh, it, it is to take the sales document so this tables vbak whatever the field is available in the vbak your developer can add it automatically and you can see it here but in case if the field is not available you need to create a include or uh, some structure so that they need to add it some z standard structure it will come into the vbak from there you can pull it here so in background uh, this field is actually created in vbak Now, if say for example, VBA K has no that such field. Now, uh, say for I want uh, some transaction ID, okay, which is not available in the VBA K. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first you need to make it available in the VBA K, and then uh, based on the document category or based on your application area, all fields will be available from the VBA K. So these are all fields available in the VBA K only. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, so just uh, activate it. So, so basically, it is a document document category related uh, tables yeah. in which we have to add these new fields. Correct. What we are talking about. Yeah. Okay, and uh, only uh, BRF team can do it. Yeah, not only BRF can do it. Yes. Uh, not yeah, a even you can do it, but only problem is you need to have uh, the knowledge on Webden Pro and this is already released. Okay, so you just see here transport request is already released. uh you say this is because uh, uh we are saving it in the configuration but if okay. if it is really a configuration then what is the role of uh, a functional consultant though it is though it is a, a configuration uh, topic and we as a functional we can't do it No, no. With the standard fields which are available, I think we can maintain it. But unless no, we, we see anything, this. yeah. Unless see we see, okay, I need uh, additional to output type at dispatch time, something else as well. Then Correct. we need the other other team. Correct. <clears throat> uh, the BR of team. It's basically about our web design propagation. So as long as you uh, know from which it is populating a standard field, you can also add it directly from using a table setup. In case okay. if it is not available in the standard table or uh, standard structure. You know, to depend on the developer. Okay. Right. Okay. So this uh, creation, I need to create it. Transport request. I don't have. I will save it. I will just see. 
So till now you are clear, right? Maybe in the evening session we can see uh, the complete uh, BR of only this uh, OPD. This is called as OPD transaction. And one I more question: to... Where are we maintaining this uh, uh, print medium? Print medium. Which one? I mean to say, uh, sorry, uh, medium, uh, not print medium. So it's okay. a medium. Let's say EDI or out, uh, saying, right? a print or ah, okay, channel. it is in channel. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. These are all setup you need to do. So okay. if you do only output type, you, it's you are saying it's for common for all the customers, all the receivers, all the printer setup, email, everything. And are we discussing those? Yeah, these are all we will discuss in detail. Yeah, oh, this one, one, this OPD yeah. we will discuss. This is called as a output determination. I think this cannot be migrated. Everything is setup is a setup. We have to make it new from the scratch. I think completely. Output is only available in the BR. Uh, it's no migration. No, no. Even the condition records, whatever you told, everything. No, in case if you are uh, uh, doing it in BR or in S4 system, you can do it here. Migration is not there because uh, in the migration. You have only ZRDO, Z, ZBZ, BA0, or BA00, RD0, like that. We don't have something called as an output definition application and all. Okay, so only thing what we can do is in the migration or in the uh, SLT, you have uh, some ZRD0, and this is mapping to billing document that only we can do using API. Remaining setup you need to do manually. These are all uh, system specific config. You understand, right? Yes. So, so, so basically, you mean uh, in case if we want to uh, use BRF plus, then most likely we have to do it in uh, S4 HANA, uh, but we can't uh, migrate anything from legacy system. Ah, correct. BRF is available, but it's a uh, in a uh, through RFCs. In your ECC, we can also use beer of in our in ECC. Maybe uh, the TM system, EWM, they are using, but it is not built on uh, in embedded. Uh, you need to have some RFC connections because it's an pure platform. No, my question is that uh, let's say in case if we want to use uh, this beer functionality in uh, uh, V3 application, so whatever the output types that are available in ECC cannot be migrated. We have to build from from the scratch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that Philips and all they are using a BR plus, but uh, what I understand is that BR plus they have uh, configured using the RFC connections. So they are, it is not embedded or inbuilt in the ECC. You need to have some separate, and that also it will not work when you migrate. You need to again do it. This is not a new concept. BRF is not a new. It is available from uh, 2010 or somewhere, 2010 or 13. But SAP has made it uh, in um, your uh, transportation management or any other system. These are all useful for condition record maintenance also. It's very flexible tool. You don't need to depend much on uh, uh, configuration. Okay. So we'll, we'll see in detail OPD, what uh, what we will do in the OPD transaction, how we will do, and what kind of a setup is OPD is doing. And we can also run one transaction. Okay, so evening at what time we can meet? 10.30? Um, yes, so I am uh, unavailable until 6.30 PM, two hours, 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, Shiva, how is it? how does it work for you? I'm OK to have uh, before also, like say 3.30 to 4.30 CET. Shiva and Venk Venkat, how is it? Whether it can be before or after? 3.30 to 4 is fine, yeah. 3.30 to 4.30 CET, which is yeah, uh, yeah. 7, 7 to 8 for uh, Shantosh. Yeah, that will uh, be fine. Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, I will ping you because 7 to 8, uh, I am sure 7 to 8. I will ping you. If not, uh, we will okay. meet tomorrow or 10 that is okay. 10 that is uh, for me, 10 30, 10 30, I think it yeah. is a challenge for everyone because uh, in the in the evening 6 6 CET, we have this major.